So the cells that actually communicate with the brain from the retina are called the retinal ganglion cells. They get their input from the bipolar cells, which in turn get their input from the photoreceptors. And there are two main types of retinal ganglion cells, the M type and the P type. And the main difference you can see right off the bat is that the M type ganglion cells are bigger and they have this big uh, distribution of dendrites. Whereas the P, ganglion, P type ganglion cells are smaller and their dendrites cover a smaller area. Um, so if you compare the two, for one, there are way more P-type ganglion cells than M-type ganglion cells, which makes sense given that the M-type cells cover a wider area. Also, um, the size of the receptive field uh, is larger in M-types versus P-types. Again, that's because of the, the distribution of their dendrites. Um, and the other thing that makes them different is their level of adaptation. Adaptation is a property of uh, lots of different types of neurons in other sensory systems too, where they reduce their response to a constant stimulus. So in other words, if you look at the, the response rate of an M-type ganglion cell, so here we're looking at the response rate of a cell, the action potentials per second, uh, due to the presence of light and so presumably this is an on center cell we're shining light in the center and it's staying on at a constant rate or a constant level for a, a set amount of time and the neuron immediately when light comes on starts firing and then very quickly the firing rate drops down almost back to baseline whereas if you look at the response profile of a p-type ganglion cell it does the same thing at first it fires a burst of action potentials when light first comes on but then it sustains that level of activity in the entire time the stimulus is present. So we say that this M-type ganglion cell is uh, rapidly adapting, meaning that it adapts very quickly to the stimulus, whereas the P-type ganglion cells are slow adapting. Uh, also, M-type ganglion cells are only connected to uh, color insensitive photoreceptors and do not have uh, different responses to different wavelengths, whereas P-type ganglion cells are responsive to different wavelengths, so that means they get a lot more input from cones. And the main difference between the two is what type of stimulus they are most important for detecting. So M-type ganglion cells, for example, are really important for detecting movement, um, meaning moving uh, images across the retina, whereas P-type ganglion cells, uh, because they're smaller, and there's more of them and they're sensitive to color and they're slowly adapting, they are most useful for detecting shape and detail within an image. Okay, that is it for this chapter. Thanks for listening.